This is Pico. He can blink, talk, look around, get nervous, and use its camera to do some pretty incredible things. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I made him and how you can make your own robot sidekick that sits on your shoulder. Everything including the wiring guide, code, and 3D files is completely free and open source. So it's basically a really smart LEGO set. And I think the result is pretty cool. The idea for Pico actually came from another project of mine. That's the Flex Hand, a robotic hand that can copy my actions using nothing but a camera. A full video about it can be found here on my channel. But I needed the camera to always be watching my hand. So I drew up the plans for Pico based on the BD-1 droid from Jedi Fallen Order, and got to printing. These are all the electronic components I used, however the ESP32 camera is optional and is not required to make the Pico robot work. The breadboard is also optional, however I find it helpful to test the components before soldering everything to the board itself. This robot was painted by my grandmother, professional artist, art by Sonia Palik, who you should definitely go follow. The Arduino Nano Every is the brain of this project. The full wiring guide can be found on Thingiverse in the description. This part of the code can easily be changed if you want to decide how random Pico's movements are. And like I said earlier, all of this code is free and open source. Now it's time for the assembly. I attached a servo on the outside with a head on the inside, which I glued. Then I attached the wires directly to the Arduino and soldered when I needed to. Then I plugged the ESP32 cam into a short USB-C cord which went directly to a tiny power bank that I bought off of Amazon. After this I put all the electronics connecting to the Arduino inside of the Pico head and made sure that the LED was sticking out like so. Then I super glued the servo base and the magnet which keeps it on my shoulder. That nervous shaking Pico effect is actually caused by this magnet interacting with the gears, but I liked it so much I decided to keep it, and went on with gluing the rest of this project. And there you have it. That's how I built Pico. Whether you want a little robot buddy, a wearable project, or just something fun to 3D print, Pico's a great place to start. And if you do build him, tag me or send me a video. I'd love to see your version. Also, I need a name for Pico's baby brother, so let me know in the comments if you have any ideas, cause I'll happily take them. If you like this project, please consider subscribing, because I've got so many more robots coming soon. So everybody, stay curious, keep building, and subscribe.